Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at four handguns that are discontinued. And that kind of bums me out. Not because I can't get them, I have all four of these. But you can't get them, at least on the new market. And you very seldom see these on the used market. So we're going to roll through these one at a time. And you can let me know what other discontinued handguns are out there that bums you out. Let's start with the Browning High Power. This was John Browning's last design. It's a beautiful handgun. This is a Mark III. And when it was for sale, the MSRP was over $1,100. And that is the driving factor. People weren't buying them because they were so expensive. And with so many other choices out there, I don't think people were running to get the Browning High Power. However, many people call this handgun one of the best shooting 9mm out there. It has an all steel frame. A four and a half inch barrel and is single action only now i'm told that it got its name high power from having a double stack magazine which was a big deal back in the day but here we have an unloaded firearm and it does have a magazine disconnect but it's a single action only a beautiful shooter and a beautiful gun it just looks phenomenal but it just didn't sell and Browning discontinued it. CZ discontinued the SP-01 Phantom. Now it's a polymer frame, CZ SP-01. Here's the all steel frame. This is a polymer frame. And they had this a while back. They discontinued it in 2013. They brought it back in 2018. Then they discontinued it a year after. Now I consider this a phenomenal handgun. I, I've said in the past that it's one of my favorite shooting CZ handguns, but they discontinued it again. And the reason I think they did that is because they have so many models of the CZ 75 pistols there are just so many this one is basic compared to what they have now that's just an all steel frame sp01 but they also have the czp09 which is very identical to this a couple features are different but you know they're kind of competing against themselves when they have two handguns that are are so familiar with each other and and you know people love the p07 they love the p09 and i think all those things combined is the reason why they discontinued the SP-01 Phantom. I was excited last year when Narrow Arms came out with their N1 subcompact 9mm pistol. It carries seven rounds, kind of gives the impression of a P365, but it is a hammer-fired gun, and they kept the MSRP below $400. For an initial launch, that's pretty good. Hammer-fired gun, and it has one of the best slide to frame fit that i have seen it's just very smooth and a nice gun you know it has a pick rail there hammer fire decent trigger pull three dot sights that are glock compatible and it has all the makings of something that should be a successful gun now i'm not exactly sure what went wrong if it did in fact i've, I've reached out to them i've had people say that they closed up shop at least with their handgun market and that kind of bums me out you know they came out with the pro model with the blue trigger night sights they lightened up the trigger pull a little bit and i thought they had a bright future now if i am wrong here I will come back and correct that but from all my research and the people i've talked to it seems that narrow arms is no longer producing the n1 and that kind of bums me out because i thought and still do think this gun has potential when magnum research came out with the mr9 it instantly became one of my favorite handguns this one has a four and a half inch barrel they also made a four inch barrel but it uses a walther frame and 15 round magazines magazine releases on the trigger guard but what makes this interesting is that the trigger goes into single action once the slide is charged and it has a very short trigger reset but if you don't like that you can hit this decocker and it brings it right back into double action now many people said hey you know use the walther frame and walther makes the p99 well walther discontinued that too and so I guess you could add another one. They also discontinued the Creed. So there are two more that I'm kind of bummed out. But I'm really bummed out that Magnum Research discontinued this. I think it looks super cool. It does have a striker fire indicator there. 
but I, I shoot it incredibly well and they discontinued it so you won't be seeing any more of these on the new market. So here are four discontinued handguns that really bum me out. Let me know what guns the manufacturers no longer make that you'd still like to get that, that bums you out and we can get the conversation rolling. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.